Hi everybody, when we look at our web page, we see a bunch of things on screen. We see things like text and images and other visual elements, all positioned in what seems like a, a reasonably logical arrangement. Now, there will be times though, when we wanna know the exact position of an item on our screen or the size of an item on our screen. And in this quick video, we're gonna look at this magical API that makes this all possible. So let's get started. This magical API is known as get bounding client rect, and it's been around for a very long time. And this method does one thing really, really well. It allows us to get the position and size of an element anywhere on the screen relative to our viewport. And so here's an example. This is our browser. With the top left corner of our window is zero, zero. That's our coordinate system that we're working with. And let's say we have an element on our screen, which in this case is this blue square. What get bounding client rec does in order to help us get the position of the items, it gives us four properties. It gives us the Y and X to give us the, the vertical position as well as the horizontal position. And then it gives us the right and bottom to give us the, the full rectangular edges of the element on the rightmost side and the bottom side. So with these four values, you can kind of construct the exact shape of the element that we're currently dealing with. And likewise, if you want to look at the size of the element, we have two additional properties. We have height and width. And the height and width is known as the content width and content height because it not only includes the content size itself, but also the padding and border width also. Which is really handy when it comes to figuring the size of an element, even though the visual area might be much smaller. So it's almost like the, the hit area of the content. And so here's an example of how this API works. The only thing you really need is a DOM element whose position you're interested in finding more about. And so here we have a blue square element, which we are referencing with the variable blue square. And then I call get bounding client rect on it and store it as part of the rect variable. And now what gets returned by get bounding client rect is a DOM rect object, which gives us six properties, X, Y, right bottom for position, width and height for size. And there's an additional left and top properties, which are the same as X and Y, just a different alias for the exact same values. So with these six values, you can pretty much figure out where an element is positioned on screen relative to the viewport they're currently in. We will often be your page, but it can also be an iframe that might be in the middle of your page. So keep that little detail in mind. And so one thing to keep a note about get bounding client rect is that it's not a good idea to call it as part of your animation loop, as part of doing some visual updates, where it's gonna be called very frequently. And the reason is that each time you call get bounding client rect, each time it tries to calculate the size and position of an element on the screen, it creates a style and layout recalculation, which is a pretty expensive operation. It's known to cause a lot of the layout performance and jank issues that you'll often see. So store the value once, you know, call get bounding client rect, cache the values, and don't worry too much about keeping it up to date by putting in a loop. And so with that, there you have it, a very quick overview of get bounding client rect and the six properties it provides for us to be able to get both the position and size of an element very, very easily relative to the viewport it is currently contained in. So if you have any questions, post in the forums at form.group.com. And if you have any interest in you know, having this content be shared among your friends and enemies, how could you do so? Share a button below, hit subscribe to be notified of new videos, Follow me at Krupa to be notified of bite-sized updates on interesting things on Twitter and buy my book. A lot of interesting stuff in paperback and Kindle editions. And with that, I will see you all next time.